Welcome to Hot Wheels. On today's show, we're talking about the Packard, the Packard American luxury car of Detroit, Michigan. Packards were manufactured, the very first one, in 1899. And the final true Packard rolled out of the factory in 1956. Well, in 1940, manufactured the 180 model. On words of the estuary, he and Alice actually own one of these beauties. And we're here to talk about it. Ron and Alice, welcome to Hot Wheels. Thanks for showing off Good your morning, beautiful, Rich. gorgeous car. Good morning. How in the world did you end up with this? Tell us the story. Well, it started with the fact that the grandchildren started to come along, and we are fortunate enough to have five grandsons, and we wanted them to join us along the way with our antique cars. So we started to look for a car with a nice big back seat so we could take any one of the boys with us on tour across the country. This has been a, a lifelong hobby with me. I got my first antique when I was 14 and it grew, the, the collection was at 26 cars at, at one point in time. And so this Packard along with several other cars have been real dear to us. As Alice mentioned, we wanted room for um, our grandsons in the rear. And this is called a custom 180 club sedan. Uh, the inside of, of this car is uh, set up just like a limousine on the longer wheelbase cars. Uh, it has dual vanities, um, lady appointments. Uh, inside the vanities, uh, Packard furnished a uh, compact, a uh, notepad, in uh, perfume bottles for the ladies. A Mouton carpet, Mouton is uh, uh, baby lamb's wool, and uh, handholds, assists for getting in and out of the, the car, an eight day wind up clock for the rear passenger, and plenty of room for grandsons back here. And I'll bet they've been in it, right? And they have been in it. We have been on car tour on this. Up front, um, you'll find 1940 appointments in plastic. Uh, the auto industry went to plastic uh, for the first time um, in a big way in 1940. Not only Packard, but many of the other auto manufacturers. And uh, Packard was the first auto manufacturer to put a steering wheel on a car. Prior to 1901, cars had tillers. So when you're steering your car, you can thank Packard. Packard was the first auto manufacturer to develop the H pattern shifting pattern. Okay. Uh, that was another first for Packard. So um, this is a very close shift pattern here designed for ladies. You begin to wonder if already the designers and the engineers were thinking about this greatest generation that was going to come mm -hmm. uh, in the 40s because the ladies ended up driving the cars more so in the 40s during the war period sure. than the men. So a lot of the appointments in the inside of the car and the ease of driving the car was centered around the females. Okay, as you mentioned, Rich, it's a 356 cubic inch straight eight engine that Packard used all the way up to 1954 through 1954, same, same engine. Um, it's a bulletproof engine, nine main bearings in it, uh, very reliable. The Rolls-Royce engine that was produced in the U.S., the Brits could produce enough of the Rolls-Royce aircraft engines, and so they wanted America to help them. So Packard took the contract, and they produced the uh, Rolls-Royce Merlin uh, aircraft engine. So uh, Packard became quite a notable engine builder, very reliable. So the car came to me in almost original condition. Really, it only needed a paint job. Okay. Um, when I started on it just to do a paint job, it, total, it turned into a total restoration. These pieces were all chrome plated and pitted, and there is a gentleman that made up the, the molds, the dies, 
and recreated all this bright metal in stainless steel. What about so that? other than the bumpers in the grill shell, everything else on this car is brand new in stainless. Since restoration, this car uh, did the show circuit across the country from the East Coast to the West Coast. We entered it in 10 national shows uh, across the United States. And uh, the car earned a first place award in every show that it was entered in. In every show, wow. Well, I can certainly see why. It is just astounding. The, the reason I'm into cars is my background is mechanical engineering. I love that, and so that led me to automobiles. Well, we'd like to thank Ron and Alice for joining us today on Hot Wheels and sharing this beautiful Packard 180 with us. And uh, if you've got a fabulous car or anything on wheels that you'd like to share, we'd love to come see it. Uh, just contact Emily Rose and uh, she'll get you all set up. And you could be with us next time on Hot Wheels.